You've, uh, you've put me under the pump there, Damien. I don't think too much has happened touch wood so far. Probably forgetting my mouth guard or, or having my head headgear ripped off is, uh, is about as embarrassing as it got so far. It's, uh, it's outstanding. I mean, it really gives you an insight in the way that they go about their footy and the way they go about their things off the field. And, and to look at young blokes come through and, and to really make a name of themselves in, in not only the test scene, but at super rugby level is, uh, is, is great confidence for, for blokes like myself. And, uh, and it really does boost us and, and give us opportunity to, uh, to push through the same pathways. You keep me, you keep me warm, Wal. You're, uh, you're a great big spoon, but I, uh, I do moisturise, but I don't know if it's in the right spots. I don't know how rapid it's been. I've, I've been very fortunate so far. And, uh, and to come through the sevens and schoolboys and then and 20s and, and now Wallabies is, is a great honour. And I think the, the kind of the higher it gets, the more exciting and, and the more pressure that's on you. But I think to play at places like Twickenham last week and, and to get a win was, was truly something special. And it's, uh, it's certainly something I won't forget anytime soon. Lauren, that's a, that's a tough question. I mean, it, it's hard to, uh, to judge them separately. They both have such strong assets to their game in completely different ways. I mean, David's been one of the hardest players I've played against. And then, uh, and then to have a legacy left behind like Richie, it's, uh, it's certainly hard to overlook. So I'd have to call it split. But, uh, but they're both certainly massive players in their own rights. Marianne, it's tough. It, it, it'd have to be either David, David Pocock or, or Richie McCaw. They're, uh, they're two of the toughest players I've played against. And, and to pre prepare for them, it's uh, not much changes. It's go about your same thing day after day and, uh, and, and basically focus and, and worry about getting the job done and, and worry about what you have to do on the weekend. That's uh, as cliche as it sounds. That's, uh, that's as tough as it gets. Dexty, my, uh, my good mate, that's, uh, that's certainly true. There's, uh, there's nothing like setting sail on the back deck. It's a beautiful thing. Jacob, it'd have to be to fly. Uh, to check out beautiful cities like Florence, where we're at now, and, uh, and to go over the world, to go all over the world on foot is a special thing. But I think to be, uh, to be able to fly and get a bird's eye view of it would, uh, would be incredible. There's a few. It's, it's pretty split, Kaylee. I think becoming a wallaby is, uh, is certainly one of the most proudest moments you can have because you know someone can't take that away from you. But I mean, winning the Super Rugby title was, uh, was massive and, and winning a silver medal at the Commonwealth Games, all different aspects and at different levels of the game and, uh, and all three things I'm very proud of. So that's certainly right. I mean, one of the biggest turnarounds that we think we had from, from our loss against France to our, our win against England was, was all mental toughness and our ability to show up on the game and, and get it done. So that's, that's certainly a massive, massive part of the game. It's, it's not just a physical front, it's, it's very mentally challenging. Well, I think, I think I'm still emotionally attached to France. It, uh, it absolutely blew my mind. And uh, it was a shame we couldn't get the result there, but it's, it's one, of the, one of the most beautiful places I've been. And, uh, and closely behind it would have to be Cape Town. Jackie, we get there about an hour and a half before the game. There's, there's not much to be done out there. I mean, all the preparation's done beforehand. All we do is warm up, sort ourselves out, and, uh, and get ready for the anthem.